A man who was convicted in Russia over social media posts which criticized the country's fight in Ukraine was released from prison on Tuesday. Alexei Moskalev, 55, a single father, was met by his daughter Maria outside the jail in Tula region. After his release, Moskalev told OVD Info about his experience spending two months in prison. He likened the conditions inside his cell to a torture chamber that was two meters by one meter in size. At first, I was sitting alone, then they put a second person in, he said. Moskalev also claimed that the jail's floors were rotten, rats were everywhere, coming from the sewers and everywhere. In 2022, his daughter refused to participate in a patriotic class at school and made a drawing which said, no to war, and glory to Ukraine. He was then investigated by police and indicted over a series of social media posts about Russia's activities in Ukraine. Moskalev was sentenced to two years in prison, but fled house arrest hours before the jail term was handed down. He was arrested in neighboring Belarus and extradited to Russia. Moskalev's daughter was dispatched to an orphanage following his arrest. Это камера пыток была просто. Что находилось в камере? Во-первых, камера была э, 2 на 1 размер. Понимаете, что такое 2 на 1? Э, сначала один сидел, и потом второго э, посадили человека. И вот мы вдвоем 2 на 1. Вот в этой размере камеры сидели. Э, полы гнилые, крысы повсюду, из канализации везде лезут, крысы огромные. Из одежды было только вот, вот этот вот этот все, и маечка, и на голое тело. Прямо на голое тело, да. Холод, это просто собачий. Это просто, знаете, не передать словами. 16 часов на ногах приходилось стоять, потому что в кровати утром пристегивались к стене, чтобы не могли ложиться. И 16 часов до отбоя мы стояли практически на ногах. Сидеть невозможно было, лавочка маленькая, металлическая. Настолько она была проколена ледяная, что на ней просто сидеть не было. The European Union on Monday imposed sanctions on Iran's deputy defense minister, senior members of its paramilitary revolutionary guard and three airlines over allegations that they supplied drones, missiles and other equipment to Russia for use in its war against Ukraine. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen confirmed the new measures during an appearance in Berlin alongside German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these sanctions against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences, von der Leyen said. Iranian Deputy Defense Minister Syed Hamza Galandari is one of seven senior officials now banned from traveling in Europe and whose assets in the bloc were frozen. The EU said he is involved in the development of Iran's and missile program, given his high-level defense role. Iran Air, Mahan Air and Saha Airlines had their assets frozen. The EU said their planes were used repeatedly to transfer Iranian-made unmanned aerial vehicles and related technologies to Russia, which have been used in Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. EU foreign ministers endorsed the sanctions at a meeting in Luxembourg. In March, the bloc had warned that, were Iran to transfer ballistic missiles and related technology to Russia for use against Ukraine, the EU would be prepared to respond swiftly including with new and significant restrictive measures. EU member countries, with the exception of Hungary, have been supplying weapons and ammunition as well as economic and other support to Ukraine worth some 118 billion euros since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022.
Yes, uh, actually, um, I can inform you that today the Council took a decision on sanctions on Iran. Um, the reason is uh, that Iran is supporting Russia's drone and missile terror against innocent civilians in Ukraine. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these sen sanctions uh, against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences.